So in this session, we'll discuss what are the interview questions or topics we have to prepare for options uh, management module. Whenever we are applying as options management module, we have to say this. We have to go through these uh, topics. Excuse me. Options management is uh, basically it's a simple module, not much uh, uh, complex, but a lot of options will be there. We know already, right? So they'll ask you, tell me what exactly you did in options management module. We can say that I have involved in the end-to-end -end implementation of options management module, complete configuration. So configuration of uh, eligibility profiles, derived factors, and then uh, worked with uh, our options plans, options uh, types, and uh, options work schedule and also work with options uh, first formulas and then options reasons and certifications like this we have to explain and uh, I, I work with options uh, process what are the different processes we have Options value sets and options descriptive flex fields. Okay. So these are the things we are able to explain. So then they'll come up, okay, tell me what is eligibility profile. So whenever we are defining an options plan, we are going to specify who are eligible for this plan based on the person details, based on the department or based on the organization. And based on some other condition, we are going to specify that, right? That's what we call it as eligibility profile. Derived factor also same as an eligibility criteria based on employee age or based on the employee length of service or based on the employee age and length of service or compensation or number of hours worked. All these tabs they will expect. Because as I said, options management is having maximum 10, 10 tasks, not more than that. Out of 10 also, Four to five tasks are very simple. Reasons, certifications, uh, periods. Okay. This is all options process are very simple. But when it comes for the uh, tabs, we have to remember all they'll ask in the interview point of view here. Then they'll come up with options plan. What are the different types of options plans we have? Different types means like accrual plan, vacation plan. Nothing but eligibility profile, eligible, uh, eligibility criteria and uh, no entitlement agreements. Like uh, this all we will find different types of options plan and options types, patterns, childbirth, right? Hospital, long, long term illness. This is all we are going to find out. And then we will find uh, what is work schedule. Nothing but calendar configuration work uh, shift timings, patterns. And we'll talk about the area of uh, different options like uh, calendar event uh, configuration for any particular eligibility profile. Already we know that, right? How we can configure the eligibility profile. Then that's going to be specified over here it is. This is how it will work. And uh, what is fast formula? We already talked about the basic uh, things about fast formula and uh, visiting period fast formula and the enrollment first formula. In options plan, there are different check boxes, right? What is meant by options uh, eligibility profile? In options uh, module, options plan creation, most of the questions will be expecting. So what is meant by front loaded and uh, incremental? The differences between the options uh, criteria which we have. And whenever we are talking about uh, the options uh, plans, uh, what is enrollment period? What is vesting period? This we are going to have waiting period differences between. This is all we have already discussed. Almost every option is very important. In options type, what are the things we are going to combine? We are going to combine uh, options plan, options uh, reasons, options certifications, this is all we are going to combine in options type and attached with the 
employees when they are applying for a leave. How will you configure that uh, employee can apply maximum two days at a time, not more than that? How will you apply that uh, configure employee should not apply for uh, off day leave? Partial leaves are not allowed. So these all questions and answers they'll ask you. All these options we have discussed while working with an our options management model. Work schedule, if at all we want to configure work schedule, what do you have to do? It's nothing but a HCM calendar. They will expect that, uh, yes, you are supposed to go with uh, configuration of shifts after that uh, workday pattern. Then we will configure the calendar events, nothing but a holidays. And we'll combine all these three things and we'll make it as a work schedule. After your work schedule is clear, then how will you assign this work schedule to the employees? We can assign individual people and we can also assign to the department or position or legal entity. Depends on the requirement, uh, we can go ahead with uh, attaching this uh, work schedule to the different options. That's our, up to our requirement, how we will go for associate. If it is for individual, we'll go to manage persons and search for an employer. We'll assign the work schedule to the employee over here. It is. Yeah, that's how it will work. And, uh, Reasons and certification. Uh, these two things will be there when you, an employee, try to apply for a leave. Uh, they will be able to select the reason and the certifications and all over here. And uh, options processes are very, very important. So that's going to be specified over here that we can find. Already we have seen, right? All six processes are very, very important. This. All these six processes and purpose are very, very important when we are working with our fusion applications. Here it is, an options management module. Okay, so these are the topics. Uh, each and every option is very important uh, in options plan whenever we are going to create. Okay, thank you.